Namaste and welcome. My name is Neeraj and we talk about spirituality, astrology and applied astrology series on this channel. I'm grateful that you're here today. We just heard from Google today in the morning that there are about 12,000 jobs that they are going to cut off globally. That's sort of layoff that's coming up. We have heard from Microsoft about a few days back that there are about 10,000 jobs that they are cutting off. And then on the similar lines, Amazon have announced about 18,000 job cuts globally. And then uh, back in November 2022, we also heard from Meta or Facebook that they're also were cutting off 11,000 jobs. In fact, there was a case in Canada when there was an immigrant from India who has just landed and within second day of his job uh, in Meta INC, he was basically laid off. Uh, that's that's the part of the sad story but uh, and there are about uh, 48,000 job cuts that we have heard so far from the end of last year till now in the beginning of 2023 which has already been announced and that too only from technology sector so like I have predicted in my previous videos if you see my videos around economic crisis 2023 where I've explained the reasons the specific time periods where you could see more of these layoffs and job losses I did cover that and also in my global predictions video earlier. So uh, this is obviously no good news that my predictions are coming true. But I just wanted to let you know that the, the whole karma is coming back to them. And then um, this is sort of the vicious cycle of money printing versus sort of fooling people. Keep the money floating from the treasury into stock markets, the bonds and shares and everything that happens, which is not really a real asset. And then people are still not conscious enough and I, this is a time for global recession that we are seeing the stock markets that you are seeing all the positive vibes in stock markets are basically fake and they are creating the originator of the money is themselves creating the whole fakeness there so i have been warning to you about this it's just that this time period specifically um, mid of january till uh, june mid 17th is where you will see this to be going more this is just the beginning and like I have said in my previous video, videos that uh, this is more like a fashion now. People who really need to cut jobs specific, specifically in terms of companies will be cutting off the jobs. But also the people or the companies which are actually doing good and they have actually gained a lot from um, the global pandemic that we are seeing. Uh, it's not yet over I guess. Uh, they have gained a lot and now they are just um, using that opportunity to make it as a fashion thing. So since everybody is doing it, let me also kind of lay off few people and optimize my profitability. This is like they are obviously choosing uh, profitability over human beings. And um, which side are you guys like? Uh, are you intelligent enough to see through this or not? Now I've been trying my best to be vocal about some predictions here so that you can relate that to applied astrological science in terms of how the planets are behaving, what could we see possibly from here. So the 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 era is to be uh, self-sustainable on your feet uh, one should be able to stand on your feet on your own an era of global recession full-on inflation or hyperinflation is coming up i've been talking about it in my previous videos as well the three-year video that i did the canada predictions the stock markets will crash sooner or later we are already seeing what is happening with real estate this was again one of my predictions kids specifically that can be a uh, target here onwards in terms of all the political agendas all the left right center things that you're seeing will actually be targeted towards kids so i'll be talking more about that and uh, uh, you will see a lot of regulatory issues with with respect to digital media or online forums as well that is going to come up which is basically nothing uh, but going to contribute to further layoffs and sort of cost crunching if you will and people are going to save money, they are going to stop spending money, which will lead to recession and then followed by inflation and followed by hyperinflation. And that is where we could see potential recession. It, it is a slow process. It's not going to come today or tomorrow, but approximately, uh, like I've told in my previous videos, June onwards is where you could see some reliefs in the layoff that you're seeing, June, June 17th to be precise. And then again till October, you can see this is okay. And November, again, it can kick up. So that's where, what we are seeing in terms of planetary positions or the charts. And then after November, uh, I will do another video, follow up video from here, what would happen potentially after, after this year and in 2023. But for now, it is very important to know the fact that these are the reality of society. These are coming up. 
technology giants have chosen, of course, uh, money or profitability over human emotions and sentiments. Also an answer that the world is changing. This is also significantly uh, proof enough that we are, we are seeing a global change in the world order. The power is going to shift. The other point I want to cover is electric vehicles. The electric vehicles will also be a major cause of this change. So you'll see a sort of uh, shift of power from the northern hemisphere towards the southern hemisphere of the planet. And then this is bound to happen. It is already happening at staggering speed. Tesla recently cut down their uh, huge pri price, slashed, price slashes in the Tesla cars that they make, the battery powered ones. And we are seeing developing countries like India and some more countries where the EV market is catching up very fast. So it is already there. Um, Canada has, I guess, 70% reduction goal in the next three years by 2026 in terms of carbon footprint or, for instance, reducing the number of vehicles that are powered by gas on roads. So all this is basically going to shift the power, push up the recession mode, and uh, the West will still continue to feed in more arms and ammunition to Ukraine. So nobody is nobody to blame. It's it's just a destiny that that's how it's playing, and there, the karma comes back. I have also done. A video on karma so that you realize why it is important and you may belong to any planet uh, any religion any belief system for that matter but karma is going to come back it is what you create your destiny with your own hands and feet uh, that's how it works and the law of nature is equal to everyone the uh, one more follow-up that I wanted to have in this video is around um, earthquake or natural disasters that I have predicted uh, there's a place called Joshi Mutt in India, thousands of years old, that is very religious to Hindus in India. And we are seeing a lot of cracks in that, uh, that sort of doomsday kind of a situation where the cracks are happening and the, and the level of the ground is actually going in, uh, like it's, it's sinking in. So, and there are all, a lot of nearby villages or towns, we may call it which are also sort of sinking. So uh, this was again in line with my prediction, I think third or fourth point during economic crisis, I have a presentation on this channel. So this is going to be more of earthquakes, more of uh, such incidences. That is also an indication that the mother nature is suffering. It's just a signal that now human beings have to improve uh, in their treatment with the nature, uh, being more truthful, being more judicious, being more conscious. Uh, and being more productive probably will be the way forward for all of us from here. Uh, this is not an advice. I'm not into any kind of advice business, but this is what we can see in the charts. I did touch upon some follow-ups from my previous videos around economic crisis, the earthquakes, the job losses that are happening, uh, why we are seeing them, approximate timelines that we are going to see this, and what, where we are bound to go from here. I hope it makes sense. Please do subscribe and share wherever it reaches and to your friends and family. Uh, I wish you all the best and please prepare for the worst. Have savings in your bank accounts. Uh, have money uh, into different countries if you can. Uh, and, and then uh, do not depend upon government things alone because those things help certainly, but, but essentially beyond uh, those um, employment insurances and everything that you have to see, because inflation is kind of going to raise the value of $10. So if you were buying $10 of bread, that $10 of bread after one year could be $15 of bread. So your affordability, those are the things which will matter to you as a person. And uh, this is very commonsensical as I just wanted to know my viewers that these things are coming up and change is bound to happen. This is change in world order, which will also not go without a fight. So people who are in power, who are warning this leftist things, in the schools, colleges that you're seeing today, uh, which are against humanity, uh, will actually be more profound. They will try their best to push in money. And you know, it's like if somebody is going to die, they will try every stone to be unturned. They will try every possible measure to not let it happen. But that will, that is where the, the beginning of World War Three will happen. So I, I wish you all uh, a good future ahead. Um, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Namaste.